Hello, I am Dr. James Hampson, owner of Hampson Horns, and today we're going to start a new video series talking about horns in our collection and horns that we have for sale. And the horn we're going to talk about today is actually the most used horn on the planet, and that is an Alexander 103, um, which in America it isn't used as much, but it's used throughout Europe, Asia, Africa, everywhere, that the 103 has just become so popular. Um, and this is a very special 103 that we're talking about because it is 111 years old. It's one of the first 103s ever built, built around 1912. And the first Alexander 103 was built around 1907, the prototypes. Um, and what makes these instruments a bit different from the modern ones is that the bore is smaller, which was common uh, pre-World War I. Um, the metal that's used on it is a lot thinner, so this instrument has numerous patches on it, uh, but it got a recent valve job, so this horn plays amazing. Um, so kind of talking about the specifics of this horn is that it's a double horn. So you have your F side on top, your B flat side on the back. The Alexander 103 is known for its shorter lead pipe and this big change valve right here. That's a quasi crispy wrap, but different. Um, and I'm gonna play a bit for you just so you can hear how it sounds. So that's a bit of Mozart's horn concerto number two, the third movement rondo. Um, so this horn is a great orchestral horn. It's a great chamber horn. Uh, a little bit weird about it, like a lot of early double horns, the ergonomics of the thumb aren't great, but ergonomics are always something that can be altered if needed. Um, so amazing B flat side on this horn, like modern Alexander's. The F side is actually pretty good as well. <laughs> So that was all F side of the horn. And here's a bit of the B flat side of the horn. So very nice on both sides of the horn. A little bit about this instrument that before World War II, uh, instruments were commonly built at A438 which was the common orchestral pitch. Uh, during World War II, um, they actually changed that to A440 as the international pitch standard, um, which in America they have that, but cer certain places in Europe have A444, A445, some places play A442. Um, so a standard as much as it is a standard. Um, so if you'd like to know more about this instrument, you can check it out on our website, hamsonhorns.com. And thanks for watching.